Welcome everyone, this is Icy Me bringing you the next episode of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. On that episode, eh, we end up covering some few little side quests, some exploring on the oceans. But I end up in the spare island because I'm not getting 10 wisdom gems, so I can get, well, get, uh, get the next, well, so I can upgrade the next, uh, the next spirit. I'm not too interested with this one, but I'll just want to get it out of the way and show you what it is. But here we go. The spring is filled with a mysterious light. Which spirit then do you want to present? And there we go. And show wisdom. So far you have found 10 wisdom gems. With this many gems, the spirit of wisdom's power will be awakened. Come forth, spirit of wisdom. Using the gems that Link has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit powers. It's, uh, I'm not too fond of it, really. And here we go, the Spirit of Wisdom has empowered you. Your shield defense is much greater, so that means you're gonna take less hits. You take less damage. It's pretty nifty, but I still like my flamey sword, cause, well, cause the sword is flamey! Simple as that! <laughs> Maybe a silly reason, but I still, eh. Whatever. Seeing something on this island would be worth the trip, but you want to leave ready? Yep, let's get out of here and we're gonna head out to the southeastern part of the sea. Um, actually, hold on. Hmm, sure, why not? I'll take out my slate. Draw the little symbol here. Probably is accurate enough. <laughs> and we can head out to the sea then. We're, not, we're gonna ignore Nintendo DS Island for now. We're gonna go to this island right now. And onwards. Alright, oh my god, it's covered by ice. Hey, what's the deal with all this ice? We can't dunk, Link. But I have one of my brilliant ideas. No, really, do you see it already? Um, no. Try to coast around the icy island and we'll obliterate it with all, with all, with the cannons. Okay. Mm, where are those enemies? Oh, there they are. Go away. Go. I'm trying to get through this island. Stop bothering me. Okay. Let's draw the whole complete circle if you can. <laughs> oh, that's if you, oh, that's if I can't make it into a circle. And let's start blendering the, this wall. Oh, cool. 20 rupees. Something about this island. This is one of my very, very favorite islands. And and their temple is one of the most creative as well, actually. And we'll see why on later episodes. <laughs> I just love this island, it's so snowy and ice and ah, it's so beautiful. Go away. Go away, you ice horse. Just quickly, quickly. You have to at least hit him three times, there by pieces, so you can tell on, the, on your top of the map as well. Uh, come on. Where you are, source. Yeah, at least I'm getting some rupees out of it too, so yeah. That's the only difficult task you can see about. It's just the fact there are these enemies and you gotta blow these at the same time. I believe let's see, let's get to the finish. Come on. There we go. Uh, I think this is it. Wait, there's one more, really? Ah, oh, come on. Can you at least counter that this island is already being revealed instead of just... <sighs> fine game, fine. <laughs> See what I mean? This is beautiful right there. <laughs> There's just a big chunk of ice on top. So beautiful. Go away you eyesores. And I believe the, the, the inhabitants or the people in this case, whatever. That in, in this island, I think they are very new in this in the game. Zelda game, I'm done. Well, Zelda universe, you can say, not game. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if there are other previous games that I probably have not even played. But let's just meet the locals here. You will never know. It's called the Island of Frost. This is where we're gonna head up to the second. Uh, well, to get our uh, Azerine. Uh, uh, that's Azerine Pure Metal. Here we are, Isle of Frost. 
Well, kid. I was wondering what it would be like walking on a big ice chunk. <laughs> and now I know it's really frosty. Well, what do you expect? It's so beautiful here. It's one of the only few islands there's actually ice and snow in it, really. Because I was like, literally, when since I, w when I was playing Wing Waker, Wing Waker, I was hoping for at least one of the islands to have ice. Well, there was one. There was one on the Wing Waker. But it's always just to get an item, but it's not like it was actually you can make, you can say char character development, some NPCs in the island, you know, some sort of interaction there. But there wasn't, but here, we do. There's the Anokis, apparently, that's their names. And the North Hill of the Northeast, okay. Well, we're gonna go there later after we talk with these people, with these Anokis. It's a woolly world we live in, guy. Woolly and hairy and wild. They dreaming for a second, they may get ya. <laughs> really? Poof. You're gone, just like that. Hmm. Okay. Who else are in here? Oh, who's this guy? Hello. The Yuk tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Oh, really? Those beats are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That crazy. What's this? The home of a somewhat smart Anoki? <laughs> really? Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see. Oh, he's making some soup too. Nobody thought the trouble between Aoki and Yuk was a good thing. Oh, really? So we Anoki and those hairy Yuk got together a hundred years ago. And entered into a little peace agreement. Oh, I see. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why. Those yukes, they're hairy, crazy, weird as I tell you. Hmm, oh really now. Hmm, let's see here. We cannot get that chest yet. Let's see what's in this side. The home of more or less smart Naoki, really? Okay. What this guy gotta say? You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy yukes has sneak over here. Oh, I heard, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> well, apparently there's a Yuki in here. Apparently by that guy, well, based on what that guy said. Hmm. What's up? What? You looking for the island's chief's house? You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go redesign the gut around here. Okay, fine then. I wouldn't even mind asking you in the first place. Jeez. What? How do we keep from facing a place like this? Come on, guy, toughen up and pack a little blubber, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> ah, shoo. Eh, bad impersonation of a sneeze. Oh, it's soon tight, sir. It's funny, it's 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 penguin and it's a deer combination thing in Island's Chief's house. <laughs> they have uh, they have an idea between a well deer, a penguin, and by the looks like of it. Um, those same, um, you could say, wintry clothes that the Eskimos wear. Hmm. So I guess the Astrid Pyramid thing was was ours once, but then we got a big spat with a Yuke in the east, and I got them. And that was like ages, ages ago. Grandpa used to run all about it when we sat around for a spoo, stew, I mean. Hmm. Really now. Let's head to north here. Let's see. Anuki End States. Okay, so there are more Anukis around here. Kumu's house, okay. Let's see what you gotta say. Hey guy. What are you doing walking in around here like you own this place? Oh well sorry, there's no door. What do you expect? You guys don't have a door here. Bo Adobo's house, okay. What you got to say? What do you want? Not that I have anything. Okay. Oh, if we head over here, I believe there's a tr treasure here. Treasure chart. Let's see here. Oh, okay, I was right. And here we go! Treasure map. Well, treasure map, not chart. They end up calling the chart on Wing Waker. Let's see what this sign is. Oh, Gumu's house, okay. Guess this, the tablets are based on the name or the house of who inhabits. Don't get, uh, don't go opening drawers like that. Not like I have What? What? You don't have any drawers in your. Okay. That's crazy. Auru House. Okay. Let's see this guy. 
Hey guy, you're doing what you do okay. Jeez. And that's probably the last house. Masu's house, okay. What you got to say? Don't go opening people's drawers like that, like that. What? You just said the same thing what the other Anuki said. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh yeah, if you hit this gospel stone, it will tell you a treasure around here, really. Draw a line between around um, uh, here and the island's chief's house. Okay. Now quickly take uh, the map if you want to. Um, can I check out my map, please? Hmm. Island between the islands and chief's house. Okay. I'm still thinking. Hold on. Okay. So we have one light. We got it here, and we then we have it on the house. Okay. So that's a pet line. There we go. Let me quickly erase this. And I guess it's around in the middle. I guess. Just between between the end stakes and Chief's house, so it's somewhere around the area, I believe. Okay. And trust me, the item is worth getting it, really. Um, what you got to say? You look bored, little man. No, I'm not bored. I'm tired. I'm trying to save the world here. Jeez. Can't read it from here. Probably it's the same thing. Yeah, a no key state. Ugh. Alrighty, so as I found it, it was right here, just by the statue, so... That's where it was the 200 rupees. Jeez, it took me a while to dig all through this. <laughs> Sorry for the horrible narrating just for the on cuz. <laughs> I'm a bit tired, and... <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, this is Chief's house, so let's see what he has to say. You guy hit the island chiefs of Anoki. You got an angry guy? What do you say, Link about? So Link about my tribe's been having this trouble lately. I thought maybe you could take care of it for us. Um, what's that you say? You're saying that your name is actually Link? You sure about that guy? All right, all right. Anyways, you want to know about the Azurine, right? I scratch your fur and you scratch mine. I guess. Well, this might be a bit long, so make yourself real comfortable. Okay. We and Noki have got one enemy to this island. They are the Yukes. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So, a hundred years ago, we made an agreement that the Anuki live in the west, and those hairy Yuk who live over the east on the great ice field. That was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk has knocked over here. Oh, really? And he's taking one of my villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable like. And now we come to the part where I need something from you. And what is that, my good, my good chief? Find the Yuk who's impersonating a village and kick him out. You get all that? Do I have to repeat myself? No thanks. Yeah, all right. Go to the Nuki State up north, Link, and then you can get there. Yuks are liars. Every one of them will be liars. So don't be gullible. Eh, we're gonna have a logic game here. But yeah, I'm gonna cover that in the next episode, okay? So, it'll be it. This will be it for this episode. So, next time on oh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we're gonna go be Link and Inspector Link and find who is the liar of in this place. So, see you guys then.